Well, I guess it's time for an update. <clears throat> this bed was leaning too much, so I emptied out a lot of the gravel. You can see some pretty big stuff that went in there originally. So I dumped all that out, and then I added a bunch of this kind of stuff. A little easier on the hands. I'm going to just try it out and see what happens. Home Depot. Home Depot here where I am, they have some broken bags. And broken bags are half price, so why not? Just got it all in here, all washed and clean. Bell siphon's all set up, working properly. I left the, the bigger stuff on the very bottom. And in the course of taking it all out, the worms I had put in about a month or so back, are doing pretty good uh, because I have the tomato plants and some strawberries I thought what the hell I had a couple of banana peels so I buried them in there with with the worms for S and G see what happens this is another one I did a few days ago same process except this one's all pea gravel those little lumpy guys back there are transplants that I transplanted in here two days ago starting to stand up we'll see and these guys. If you look at the previous video, you can see these things were stunted in a fully immersed uh, net pods. So now they only go about halfway into it. So there's a little dry on top and wet on the bottom. It just seemed like the lettuce was just getting too wet. So I changed all that. Same over here. This is one, that, a romaine, that I took out of the, the first grow bed, the transplant. Nice root growth. This guy I'm just stick it in here, straight in the water. Seems to be doing fine after two days. So let's leave it. What the heck? Nothing to lose. It's all an experiment. More better lettuce. The basil trimming that's coming back to life quite well. Tomatoes, 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 more tomatoes. Here it is, uh, what the heck is it? 21st of March. More tomatoes. A vine of who knows what. <laughs> A mystery plant. We'll find out what the heck that sucker is all about. These bell siphons are doing great. No problem there. Um, I forget what these guys are. Like I said, it's just been a total experiment. Strawberry plants from last fall. Starting to produce a couple berries. More lettuce. And I took off the, the glass of this part of the greenhouse. And the temps were warming up and these guys are being crushed and they're growing out of the greenhouse now. This table is a little bit too high, it's 33 inches. Probably could have made it a little smaller. Get away from over here. And this one over here, this side of the greenhouse, will be at that height, which is the height. Lay them up on top on here, or I'm just going to make a full plywood with uh, some rubberized paint and put on here that I was looking at. Which may or may not work, but you know, try it out, see what happens. And then this whole side over here will be all beds. It's kind of a mess right now because we've been changing a lot of stuff. And had the fans in here earlier when we had the temps in the 80s. That's the old raft bed where they all this were flooded with water. I just pulled it out, set it there for now. Some more transplanting to do because the the butter lettuce and some of the net pots over there, there's five and six plants in each one, but it doesn't seem to bother them. Interesting. I did screw up and added too much of that. <laughs> And so now my goldfish now have a lot of black highlights. 
<laughs> so be careful using that stuff. I mean, it turned it black. A couple of water changes, and just uh, so now it's like a, a light tan color. And it seems to have helped a little bit. But that's about the extent of it. There's the full shot. Everything seems to be doing well. Just need to expand it, trying to figure out how I want to do it. Maybe sell the greenhouse and then just do um, do an experiment with the plywood bed with that rubberized paint that you can get on Amazon. That's pretty cheap. I think 38 bucks for a gallon. And if it works without leaks, maybe I'll just get rid of this thing and um, do this whole area out here and step back a little bit. Just clean all this garbage up. Yeah, you know, I had dumped some fittings out because that bin got full of water and it was getting kind of funky. And then just do this whole area here, which is about almost 30 feet long and um, I think about 20 feet wide. Would be a good spot. Just set some poles and maybe some shade cloth in the summer because it does get up in the 100 degree plus category around here. So. Basic aquaponics, always an experiment, always tinkering. But I am still trying to keep it really simple. I don't want the sump tanks and yada, yada, yada and all that stuff. Just to pump in the fish tank, pump into the grow beds, drain them back into the grow beds. Uh, may put a, a swirl filter or a radial filter in there. Time will tell and see what happens. And uh, just don't want to get carried away because looking online, like aquaponics uh, or backyardaquaponics.com, and also on a lot of the YouTube channels, I mean, my God, it seems like people get really carried away. But I guess it depends on what kind of fish you're going to have. Right now, I have goldfish. Uh, maybe come this fall, I might get some trout fingerlings and throw them in there. Or fry, whatever the heck they're called, because it gets cold enough where the water's in the 50s and 60s, even the bucket heater. Old compost pile that needs to go away. So if I do get rid of this, I need to bring a little, bring a little tractor, clean it all up, load it all out. But I think that's a project for uh, this fall. And we'll see how this all works out over the course of the summer. So far, I like it. You know, I just started this stuff, when was it, October? Something like that. With a small little tank and a couple of goldfish. And it's, uh, I'm impressed. Primarily because of the soil around here is garbage. It's rock with a little dirt. And you got gophers up the wazoo. You put raised beds in and they got a lot of trees. And the trees like to send their roots into the raised beds. So it's solidified and it's a pain in the you know what. And uh, this is a lot simpler. So we'll see what happens here, guys. And uh, eventually I might put all this stuff on YouTube. Right now it's just on a Facebook page called Lens Aquaponics, if you want to take a look at it. And uh, that's about it. Don't know nothing else except that uh, it's time to get another beer. See ya.